Better Ed than dead, I guess. Zotto 1 loves to summon P. Eddie in order to consistently get pressure going. The main issue is that this option is quite low reward. If he's not in your phase, he can't guarantee strong pressure. Backdashing P. Eddie's first hit to make distance between you and Zotto means he needs to use weaker options to keep you locked down. Because Zotto needs to use 5 HP Eddie in order to make things tight, unless he has Eddie out already, denying Zotto the ability to confirm 5 HP Eddie is quite strong. Too far out, and even P. Eddie can't lock you down. 5H is Zotto's highest level attack. See attack level in the description, meaning the block stun is higher than anything else in his kit. Special cancels done from 5H create the smallest gaps, or no gaps at all. If he's canceling from lower level moves, like everything besides 5H, you'll have pretty wide gaps to jump, and certain options offer up a free counter hit punish with Dive Kick. Representing Dive Kick when 5H isn't being used will simplify things dramatically. It's very good, very strong, very powerful. Even a cancel into Drill, his fastest attack, leaves an opening to jump if Zado doesn't cancel from 5H. He can stop his string short and try to 6P, but the reward seems low. Just doesn't seem that good. You don't even have to dive kick necessarily. If you play reactively after jumping, you don't need to commit. To make matters even more favorable for you, it's exceptionally hard to 6P your dive kick on a reaction, leaving Zato open to other jump in timings when trying to anti your 6P on a read. At super max range, Gatlings into 5H fall out of favor, forcing Zato away from 5H if he doesn't want to give you a free whiff punish for sitting put. So what is Azato one to do? Enter Frog. With Frog, Zato can maintain his advantage thanks to the increased block stun from air blocking, and you'll be immediately put on the back foot. No matter how you jump, Faust simply can't get the height to clear the Frog. However, your grounded answers to Frog are exemplary. Frog done too close is a free reaction punish with 2P. Watch your toes, Zato. And if you can push yourself to max range with FD, backdashing to give yourself the opportunity to kill Eddie is a hard to contest option. At mid range, micro dash block 2P is a quite a fearsome prediction option to hedge against multiple Zato options. Even if you're wrong, the rest of Zato's options just don't seem that threatening. Oh, look at this sad boy. He can try to trap you with 5 age, but it's a big ask given how long you could delay the 2P. And the reward for killing Eddie is huge. Zato's neutral and conversions fall off the face of the earth without Eddie meter. All he has left is like 5H drill, which isn't really that good. And the rest sort of just loses straight up to jumping. Just the act of catching jump is rough for Zato without access to frog. He doesn't really get all that much for a successful attempt at sniping your pre-jump. In summary, no 5H or frogs? Jumping and dive kick is super good. Using 5H at range, backdash or FD backdash. Frogs up close, stay grounded and be ready to punish. If Eddie is already out and Zato is in your face, he does have ways to keep pressure absolutely tight if he's clean. Doing so will limit how much Eddie meter he has available for mix-ups, bolstering your defense. Defense will become that much more manageable. Anyways, thanks for watching.